Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use transform selection to cut an image out extremely precisely into strips using the transform selection command. And we're going to be using layers, transform, filters, and a smattering of smart object. Now, if this is your first time to work with Live Link Training, then please visit my website for loads more videos on Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography. And please take a moment, scoot down to the bottom of the Any page, and click the Subscribe button to help me build a Photoshop learning community. OK then, let's dig in. OK, step one. Now we need to make a selection. So for this, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool so we can go up to the and select that in the toolbar or we can press M on the keyboard. And when I've got that selected, I'm going to start just outside and I'm going to drag down and something like that. Make me first strip. So we go right along to the other side and then we let go. And I've now got a selection. Uh, now what I want to do is to jump that to a new layer, so copy it to a new layer. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Control and J. So or Command and J if you're on a Mac. Control and J will jump that to a new layer. And you can see now that's called layer one. OK, step two. Now you'll see that the selection seems to have gone away. Um, and it has but we can bring it back and we're going to do that with a keyboard shortcut and we're going to hold the control key down or the command key and then we're going to click on the layer thumbnail not on the layer but on the layer thumbnail itself and if we do that you'll see you'll get that little pointy finger with a, a little selection marquee and if we click it brings back that exact selection and now I want to transform that selection um, well, if I just go in to use the transform command, then I'm going to be transforming the pixels. Now, what I need is something different. I need to go to select and transform selection. If I click on that, I get the same bounding boxes, but now I'm, I'm actually selecting uh, the selection rather than the pixels. Now, what I need to do is to decide where I'm going to flip this. Now, at the moment, there's no center point. Um, and I need that center point in. So if we go up to the, the tool options bar at the top, you'll see that there is a little array here with the point in the center. And if that's not ticked, then you won't have a center point in here. So I'm going to put a tick in there and you'll see now I've got my center rotation point. But I don't want it rotating around the center. What I want to do is flip this round this bottom edge. So what I need to do is to drag that center point and just magnetize it or lock it into that bottom edge. And then I'm going to right click inside the transform or the selection and I'm going to select flip vertical. And there you can see now that my selection has flipped perfectly and precisely around that bottom edge. So now uh, that should be fine. Now I can accept that transform now. So I'm going to click the tick and now I need to jump this selection now to a new layer. But if you look in the layers panel, what you'll get is at the moment, what I'm asking Photoshop to do is to, is to send the pixels from this layer. This is the active layer at the moment. And of course, underneath this little piece of this layer here, there isn't any pixels. I'll just show you what happens. If I do Control and J now, or Command and J, um, to jump it to a new layer, um, it won't do it it will come and say could not make the new layer from the selection because the selected area is empty. Now that's a little bit cryptic, but what it's telling you is that you've got the wrong layer selected because it's saying you're asking me to send pixels that I haven't got. There is no pixels here on layer one. So what you have to do is make sure that you click back on the layer where the pixels are. Now these pixels here are on this layer zero. So now it will work. If I press Ctrl and J, it'll jump those pixels to a new layer. Let's just make this a little bit longer so we can see it a bit better. 
Okay, and now it's just a little bit repetitious, really. So once we've got the background layer clicked, so we know where we're going, we've got to bring layer 2 selection back. So control and click on the thumbnail. And then we're going to go to, can you remember, select and transform selection. I'm going to drag that center point down onto that bottom little magnetic point there. And then I'm going to right click inside and I'm going to click flip vertical. And then I can click the tick to accept the transform. And then I can do control or command and J again. And we've got our third strip. Now step four, well it's just a repeat of steps two and three really. So we're going to hold the control key down, click, we're going to go up to the select menu, down to transform selection. I'm going to drop that little corner point into there, then I'm going to right click and flip vertical. I'm going to click the tick in the toolbar and then control or command and J. And of course it's bringing up and saying could not make any of the selection. Well we know why that is now. I've got the wrong layer selected. I need to click back on layer 0 and control or command and J. And now we've got four strips. Okay I'll do it once more. So we're going to bring back that selection on layer 4. We're going to go up to Select and Transform Selection. I'm going to drag that little point back to that point there. And then I'm going to right click inside the Transform and do Flip Vertical. I can then accept the Transform and I can do Control or Command and J. But first I've got to click back on that background layer, on that bottom layer. And then I'm going to do Control or Command and J, and I've now got five slices. Well, I don't want video to be something like an hour and a half long, so I'm just going to scoot along a little bit, producing the next five slices, which is exactly the same as producing the first. OK, I'll see you in a sec. <music> Well, that's part one. That's all our strips cut up. Now we've got to add some effects to the strips to separate them. We've got to extend the background to give them a little bit of space round. We're going to apply a filter. We're going to add some text and we're going to apply a filter to the text. And we're going to add a background. Lots more to do and we'll be getting on with that in part two. I'll see you then. Bye for now.